Hey everyone, Dominic Lehnert here. And in this video, I want to share some information on online forms. I know it sounds quite um, boring a topic, but it, there is a lot more different ways to build online forms out there than you, you might think. And as I was just doing some research myself, I'm, I'm looking at what, what are all the different ones out there? What different purposes do they serve? I just wanted to share that, what, uh, that knowledge with all of you guys out there, guys and girls. Um, if you are looking to build an online form, which ones are out there and what is the best use of each one of those? So first of all, what is the purpose of an online form? Let's let's start with the, with the very basics. The, the basic idea of an online form is you want to collect some sort of information. Maybe you want to collect information on your website. You want to collect information on leads that you have coming in. You want to, you host a webinar and you want to um, collect information on who's going to come. Maybe it's just a private party. You're, you're planning your birthday party or you're planning something like that. And, or you're scheduling, a, you're trying to arrange a trip with your friends and that might be quite difficult um, at times. And then you want to collect all that information in one place to so use an online form. And there's a bunch of online forms out there. And I think the kind of the three criterias that are really important to look at, which are again, very basic, but you will see in a moment why there's so, so many options out there and how they differentiate themselves. And these three criterias are, you want it to be really easy to create. Um, so it's intuitive, it's easy to create a new form. You want it to be easy to answer because the whole point of it, you want to get information. So if it's, an, if it's a pain to answer the questions, if it's a pain to use the tool itself, um, the people you're trying to get the information from are not gonna answer the questions. And thirdly, it's you want to be have it easy to evaluate the answers. So either you want to have all the details or maybe you just want to have at a glance, it's more of a survey kind of thing. And based on these things, you want to choose different tools. Um, so why are there so many different forms you can use, form builders out there? And there's here's a few questions and I want, I want you to ask yourself, and this is going to lead you to choosing the right form for what your use case is or choosing the right form builder. And that is, first of all, for example, do you want to embed the form into a bigger website or is it just a standalone form? You just want to send a link to someone and then they just go on a site and then from there, they just answer the questions and then, then you get an email reply or you get a spreadsheet with all the information. So do you want it embedded into a website and you maybe don't even see that it's an external form builder and it just looks like part of the website? Um, do you maybe want to host the form yourself? Maybe you have your own server, you have your own infrastructure, and you want to host it from your own server. That would be an interesting use case as well. And there's forms for that as well. How sensitive is the data? You should ask yourself, how, what kind of information am I collecting here? And how sensitive is the data? Does it need to be encrypted? Do I have to make sure I adhere to certain data privacy and data collection rules? That is something you should con uh, consider as well. And that will also influence the selection of the form builder you want to use. Then there is um, kind of in that as well, not just how sensitive is the data, do you want to encrypt the data, and um, what regulation do you have to adhere to, so if you're collecting information in certain areas, healthcare, for example, you want to make sure you adhere to the right regulation, and there's actually form builders which make automatically make sure that you do that, um, how user friendly do you want it to be, and also, do you just need a simple, plain, old form builder or do you need something specific to your brand? Do you need specific branding? Do you need specific customizing? Does it have to need, does it need to have a certain look and feel or is it okay if everyone just sees, well, this is just a um, Google Forms standard form. And so these are some of the questions which, uh, which you should answer for yourself. And what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna go through a number and let me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I've actually put together nine different form builders that I wanna look at with you guys and girls um, and just really quickly go at what, what is out there and for what use case should you look at what form builder. And for that, I'm just gonna share, I'm just gonna, um, we are just going to look at each one of these and uh, I'm just going to go through them. So the first and very simple one, and this is maybe the one you see the most, is just Google Forms. It's really easy to create it and especially for stuff like, like you see here, it's, it looks very simple, um, very clean. 
And for stuff like you're just planning a trip with your family or something like that, you just want to really quickly put something together. You need the information. It doesn't have to be branded or anything like that. That is a really easy way. And then you get the results as a Google Sheet. Similar to that is actually Microsoft Forms. As you can see, it almost looks the same. You, um, you put a title in here, you, you put in your questions. It looks almost the same. It's just from Microsoft and the information comes out as an Excel spreadsheet instead of a Google Sheet. Um, that's maybe just based on what tools you like to use more, um, what, whichever you, one you prefer. Another really interesting one, which I personally really like is Typeform. It's really popular as well. Um, and it has a really nice, clean, simple design and it is very conversational. So you don't feel like you're filling out like a whole page of questions like you might feel with some of the other tools, but with Typeform, it's just, you always get one question, you just answer it. It's gonna pick up the information you give it. So for example, in the beginning you give your name and then it's gonna use your name throughout the whole form. And it's more of a conversational feel and they have really high um, percentages of people who actually go through the whole form and answer all the questions and not just start it and get bored or something like that. And they're like, oh no, this, this is taking me way too long. And especially if you have forms where people are maybe not incentivized to answer them, answer them. So if you have something where like, okay, people want to answer this because they get something out of it, you might get away with using different tools. But if you're really trying hard to get people to answer questions um, where maybe if, it, it's, if it's gonna take longer than five or 10 seconds, they're not even gonna bother doing it, then this might be a good choice. Other than Typeform, and also one nice feature about Typeform is you can just do it completely from your keyboard. So you don't even have to ever click anything. You don't have to reach to your mouse. So you can literally do it in like five seconds. You can answer three questions. Um, another really interesting one, maybe not as sexy looking as Typeform is Wufu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. I'm gonna put all the links in down below as well. Um, and the interesting thing about this one is it is a bit, it looked, it looks a bit older, it feels a bit older, but it is extremely customizable. So if you wanna, if you're looking for some really strong brand experience, I would say, if you, you're really looking to make it look and feel a specific way, this one is not just, you, you type in the questions and then it always looks the same, but this one allows you to completely build what you want, what you need, what fits your brand. Um, th this one is really interested for the, interesting for this one, Wufu. Another one, um, really interesting one is Jotform. Um, this one is, it doesn't, as you can see, it, the strength of this one is it has a lot of templates. So this one allows you, it also makes it quite quick and easy to create a specific kind of form that you're looking for. And the nice thing is it still doesn't look like just like a list, but with all the templates, it still might look like something else. And you could even make the form like you see here in an online shop and it's not just a list of questions. Um, that is one thing that JotForm is really nice for. They have an incredible amount of templates. Another really cool one is Paperform. So Paperform is really cool if you're, Oh, sorry. I think I just jumped one. Yeah, form stack. <laughs> so form stack is really good if you're in a regulated business. So this is one of the ones that I touched on earlier is they encrypt uh, the connection, they encrypt the information you collect. So this is good if you're in healthcare um, and stuff like that. So you're collecting um, sensitive information. They make sure your information stays safe. So form stack is a really interesting one for that one. Um, and then the one I just jumped to already is Paperform. Paperform is really good in creating forms that look like an actual landing page. So it doesn't look like, a, like I keep going back to this. It doesn't look like a list of questions. It looks more like a landing page. So if you're looking for that, um, that could be a really interesting one. And you could even also here collect payments and stuff like that in, in an online form. And then form side is again, one, uh, one of those which is really good in data privacy and security. They make sure they encrypt all the information you enter and they make sure they protect your sensitive data. And then lastly, one which also doesn't look as sexy maybe, but this is maybe one more for the nerds out there. And this is if you're self-hosting, um, Form Bakery might be an interesting option for you. Um, because here, like if you click through, you can see it's, it's not a sexy form builder in a sense. Um, 
but you can self-host the forms on your own infrastructure. So if you want to use your own infrastructure, um, you can do that as well. So these are just some very basic information. Um, as I said, I'm going to put um, the list in the description as well with half a sentence of in which case do you want to use which form builder. I hope this was helpful information. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. My name is Dominic Lenart. Take care and goodbye.